Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have approximately one week left of FIFA 23 before the EAFC hype really starts to kick in. Have EA saved the best cover star icon SBC for last? There's one massive cover star icon that we're still looking to see and maybe it's dropping tomorrow. We'll hopefully see one last big cover star as preseason freshens up tomorrow with more cards and packs and a lot of content. Now, we're going to talk about that a little bit, but I also want to talk about stuff that's going on in the menus right now. It's affecting our craft and our chance at 99s. One of the best SBCs was released yesterday. Once again, more times repeatable to pack those 99 rated footies cards that so many of us are chasing right now in this game. And we have some more ratings to look at. We dropped a big video yesterday taking a look at a lot of leaked and confirmed EAFC 24 ratings and we have a few more to add on top of that in today's video so if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's go over yesterday's content really quickly because hey we had a player's PC yesterday but I think it's one that a lot of people are gonna overlook daily blend this might be the biggest ever daily blend rating on any of his cards we've ever seen but he's three star five star one squad to get done not the best of links but if you're Dutch you need a Dutch center back in your team maybe to go with beside V VD or something like that. It is a nice one squad SBC to do. I don't see a ton of people doing that SBC, but it is a transfer daily blend to Girona. So there you go. Not bad from EA. It is what it is. Now, also the big SBC yesterday that we're talking about and got a lot of people excited. Yesterday was actually a pretty good content day because of this SBC right here. The 94 plus footies player pick. They made it cheaper, but we're seeing double right now. The same thing happened yesterday and I didn't even notice it. The 87 plus player pick. There was a footies one that expired yesterday. Um, and there was also the brand new one that dropped on what Tuesday. That was also like the preseason one, right? And now we have two 94 plus player picks. I didn't do the ones from earlier because I was gone in a way, right? And then this one dropped yesterday that is cheaper. It's only two squads and 89 and 92 to complete and it's easy to craft with the 85 times 10 guys we opened a bunch of these on stream yesterday there's going to be a video of that on the second channel today make sure you check that out i'll leave a link right up here to get to the channel but um this is your best shot at getting 99 rated again this sbc being out re being able to do it five times a day that's the biggest w right this 94 plus from last week you couldn't do it as many times as you can do this one so it's a massive w Kind of giving us that last step of the end game grind to just give us another chance at getting those 99s. Now, I was not able to get any more of those yesterday personally, um, but I think I packed somebody that was halfway decent. I forget who it was, but I did get a pretty high rated player and we did see a good amount of people hitting 99. So that is your best chance to get those right now. But yeah, do that new one. It's five times a day, which is the best part, right? You see that refresh timer counting down. That's going to reset at 6 p.m. content today. We'll be able to do it once again. We'll be opening them on stream again today because that's the best grind right now. 85 times 10 into that. And then, of course, if you're doing any player SBCs, and kind of like I am catching up on a few of those still. And then, you know, that's a good grind to do as well. But the 85 times 10s, some people are saying, ah, oh, Nate, they kind of feel nerfed. They kind of feel bad. I still don't understand why this World Cup Butchagueno is in packs. Every time you see that, you know who it's going to be. At least that animation and that walkout. Um, man, see, that's how a lot of the 85 10s look right now. But to be honest, when you get a 95 rated like that, it's not bad. You just have to do a few more of them to like stack up on all the fodder with the players that are in packs. That's one of the things I'm looking forward to with preseason. And the stuff that changes up this Friday is... How are they going to make the cards and packs better? I hope they don't make it worse. We're going to talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out, and I just messed it up because I can't go into the store now. There actually are promo packs, but they're not good promo packs. There's a 50 and 100K pack, not the 400K pack that we would all like to replenish our clubs. But a lot of people right now are actually doing the 82 times 100 uh, I think, to get a lot of that middle to low tier fodder back into their ultimate teams. It is five squads, but it's not a bad shout since we don't have a 400k pack in the store. That's an SBC to consider to get a big boy pack pool, but also to get a lot of 83s, 84s, 85s back in your club that then you can use for the 85 and the 86 times 10 as you are crafting. So actually a decent shout to go ahead and craft that SBC. But now let's look ahead a little bit, guys, because... As we looked at this tweet a couple of weeks ago, right? It's been a little bit of, a bit of time since we talked about another cover star icon. Last Friday, of course, we wondered, was EA going to continue with the cover stars or were they going to stop? Because it was the end of footies and they didn't stop. They released a 99 rated footies, um, end of footies, beginning of preseason, Thierry Henry, right? And that was a big W, a huge GG from EA Sports. 
And now we are sitting here asking ourselves, is there going to be a preseason player this Friday? Because, or sorry, a uh, cover star icon player this Friday with the second week of preseason. It seems like there should be. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of interested in is there's not a very big player pool to choose from, but there is one massive player that we all want to see, right? And that is R9, because R9 was on the cover of the 2018 FIFA 18 um, was it the icon edition, one of the highest edition he had one of those cards? And of course, right now, all we have is the trophy Titans version of R9. There's not very many other players that it could be that we haven't had SBCs for already. Um, you know, one player that it could be is Maldini. He was in the FIFA 98 cover, but he still has for three more days. He's got a foot birthday SBC that's in that icon section. Then it also could be Schweinsteiger, but he had a shapeshifters card. It could be Kaká, but he's had an SBC semi-recently. It also could be Vieira. So any number of those players, and then also David Beckham. I feel like this Friday is either going to be Vieira, Beckham, or that very, very wanted and desired R9. I mean, it would just be fitting, even though it's literally going to be a week before we're all done playing FIFA 23 anyway. If we had a 99 R9, just to have and to craft and have fun with who says no right with all the crafting right now the 85 times 10 and all that that's the cover star icon that we've all wanted to see even if it's delayed this long being able to use it for a few days would be like ggza that'd be a fun one to craft if they make it very similar to the Thierry Henry I mean, it's going to be expensive. It's going to be a bit of a grind to craft, but it would also just be like, you know, a thank you to EA, like a W of like, okay, we got it. Like, you know, the 99 rated R9. So that's why I'm hoping that EA is saving the best for last. Um, with that, it's not leaked. Um, it is not confirmed in any way, shape or form. I just feel like EA's got one more cover star icon up their sleeve. And it's got to be, in my opinion, Beckham, Vieira, or R9, and I'm really hoping that it is R9. That's really all we have to hope for right now in FIFA 23. Of course, with the 85 times 10 grind and grinding everything through the picks and the player picks, trying to hit those 99 rateds, it is fun. But also, I feel you. Like, it's getting a little bit old. There's a bit of gameplay that we're doing right now as well. If you're playing Weekend League, if you're playing Rivals at all, or if you're just doing some squad battles games mindlessly to get these packs built up for FC24, I think it is a good grind. I've started to do that myself. Only got one game down. But I'm probably just going to rubber band some squad battles, score a goal, stick the rubber band band on and then get those games finished out so that I can get that objective the join the club objective done and then today on Thursday I'll be able to do the, la the last new era upgrade to get that done and dusted and then I'll have some uh, the coin boost and whatever in FC 24 as well now what content's going to come today I mean I don't know I'm still getting the showdown SBC vibes right I know we had a player SBC yesterday um, but we have some player SBCs that are expiring on Friday Holland Mudrick. So whether it comes today on Thursday or tomorrow on Friday, I just feel like we got to get another showdown, right? All we've had so far was the Mason Mount Declan Rice. There's got to be another one. Last year during preseason, we had a handful of those showdowns and I feel like we have to have a little bit more. I mean, those guys are transferred cards anyway, like for the Declan Rice and the Mount. So they don't get dynamic images, just like we've seen on all the transferred cards. It's just the player's kind of uh, face shot and like Jude Bellingham doesn't have a dynamic. He's probably not going to get one. Same thing with Kim Min Jae. Same thing with Daily Blinn from yesterday. So it'd be showdown cards once again that would probably, if they're transfers, of course, not have the dynamic images. But I hope that they can do that and go ahead and find um, a showdown for the international break games that are starting today. That would be fun and that would be interesting. And uh, yeah, it'd be cool players. We, we don't complain about those types of content pieces. So watch out for that today. Other than that, just a daily refresh. You know, the 94 plus picks on repeat. We're going to open more of those today and try to pack some of you guys and myself as well. Try to pack some of those 99s, man. We're still chasing. It's tough to get them, but it's fun going after them for sure. So other stuff I want to talk about are the, uh, the, the leaks for the ratings that have been going on in the past day or two, right? Right now, <clears throat> we have a combination of like the FC24 and the FIFA 23 content. And with the ratings that were leaked and talked about yesterday, I really want to spend a little bit of time talking about this because some of these ratings actually look really, really good, specifically on Liverpool, guys. I don't know what EA has got cooking up with Liverpool. Yes, Salah and VVD got downgrades, and some of these other cards got a little bit of a downgrade as well. But Luis Diaz still looks really, really good. 91 pace, 87 dribbling. Uh, Gakpo looks really solid as well for a starter card. Nunez got an upgrade in pace. He's 90 pace now instead of 89. That's a really good looking card right there, especially for an early game striker. Yes, the shooting's 
not going to be as high. Dribbling is not as high as well. But 90 pace, he will be very usable. And Soboslai as well, bringing an 82 rated card, but having 84 passing and then 82 and above in dribbling, shooting, and pace is a very, very solid card there. He should also, I think his base card in FIFA 23 might have a five-star weak foot or at least a four-star. He's four-star, four-star in his base card for 23. So hopefully he's 4-4 four, four in 24 or 24 as well. That could be a really nice starter card for your early game teams. Konate is a decent looking card as well. Gravenberch looks solid. And Joe Gomez is always meta. You guys remember Joe Gomez from like FIFA 21 or FIFA 20. He was like one of the most insane meta center backs to start the year off. He's going to be good again this year as well as always. Liverpool ratings look really nice for like overpowered links in game. And that's nice to see. So I wanted to kind of spend some time looking at those. If you haven't seen those, Foot Scoreboard on Twitter is continuing to tweet out a lot of the leaks. We did get some information we talked about in yesterday's rating video. Uh, if you missed that, Marta is going to have five star skills. Now, the pace being 72 is definitely a bit of a, a bummer and it hurts the card a little bit. But 88 dribbling with 82 shooting and uh, 85 passing kind of gives me like Coutinho vibes. Uh, for a type of card that she might play as in game with very high dribbling and five star skills, good passing, just not a lot of pace. So that should be a fun one right there. And then also we got the Newcastle ratings yesterday, which there's not a lot of meta overpowered cards in here. There are a handful that I want to point out to you. Of course, the first being Tonali. What a card for Sandro Tonali. He is going to be one of the best Prem midfielders with all 80 and above stats except for his shooting. Great looking card there for Sandro Tonali. He's going to be super duper cracked. Bruno Guimaraes looks solid as well. Jolinton looks really good for an 82. And then Isak I think looks pretty good for an 81 rated card as well. Um, some decent ratings there. Nothing too crazy for those, but definitely Tonali looks amazing. Uh, but if you compare like the Newcastle ratings to the Liverpool ratings, you can tell like, wow, Liverpool has a lot of other high rated cards in here that are going to be usable straight off the bat. Other questions for Liverpool, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Uh, some of these guys, are EA going to give them some of their like alternate positions on their base gold cards? Or is EA really going to say, hey, we're not going to do too many alternate positions, especially now that you um, have to... You don't have to use a position change um, for a lot of these. Like Trent's, a lot of Trent's cards this year can't play center mid. I, I doubt they would make Trent also play center mid from his base gold card. That just seems to be like something they could add in on a promo down the line um, and make that card more meta, more useful, and more interesting and set apart from his gold. So I wouldn't imagine that this Trent card, even though it looks perfectly fit for a midfield spot, wouldn't imagine that it would have a center mid or a CDM position change on the base gold, but we'll have to see. Still waiting on EA to tweet out and say anything about ratings. Like it's, why are they waiting so long this year to talk about ratings? Um, it's kind of disappointing. I mean, I know they usually drag it out and they pull it out and they wait and they wait and they kind of try to build up the hype, but it's been, it's been like two weeks since we had substantial EA FC information straight from EA themselves. So I'm starting to kind of feel like, okay, EA, let's get something here. Let's get some concrete news on the table. And start learning something about FC24. Build the hype back up again. I feel like the hype started really, really strong um, when we had, you know, like the the big reveals and the pitch notes and all that stuff. And I just feel like we've kind of gone downhill a little bit since then um, with all of the news and everything right now that we don't have that we would like to see in terms of news and, and content upcoming. So I'm going to rinse this Ruben Neves back into the 85 times 10. Keep crafting the SBCs that I'm going for and hopefully keep chasing those 99 rated cards but hopefully ea give us an opportunity to maybe craft into something new today whether it's a player sbc um, watch out for leaks again today guys the player rating leaks are still cooking they're still being dropped twitter is very very active right now um, i'm not posting a lot of those leaks on my twitter but if you check out foot scoreboard if you check out foot sheriff a lot of those guys are posting the ratings that are dropping um, from the, whatever contacts whatever you know information channels they're getting those ratings from a lot of stuff being posted there from those guys that have that information. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on. Let's see if we can lower the rating here at all. We cannot. All right, boom. One more 85 times 10 to finish off the video. And uh, I will see you guys in the second channel today for some 94 plus player picks because it was fun. Honestly, yesterday we hit some 99s. I'm telling you guys, like that is the best chance of hitting 99s for sure in that player pick. So if you're still chasing anything massive, especially if it's a footies card, that's the place.
to be crafting at this moment. One last 85 times 10. Can we hit a 99 rated? We're going to skip the team of the season because it's all about the pink cards and behind. Socrates and Smalling. Not bad. That's going straight back into a, an 85 uh, times 10 or a 94 plus player pick. I'll see you guys in the second channel today. Thanks for watching the video. As always, I appreciate the support even in these in-between moments between FC24 and the end of FIFA 23. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account, and catch you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace.